Hello, and welcome to week four, unit one of application development for SAP Business by Design. In this unit, we'll look at creating a custom web service. It's very easy for us to use the SAP Cloud Application Studio to create new web services. Uh, there's a wizard that basically we provide what the object is, what the operations should be, and after that, it generates a whistle for us almost instantly. We can generate web services for any of our partner or custom objects or even also for standard objects. Now, there are many pre-delivered web services for standard objects, so if you have to create your own, make sure that you can't already use the existing one that's there. But it is possible, if needed, to go ahead and create your own after that. Now, all the services that we generate are SOAP-based. Uh, as of today, that's the only type we can generate, uh, but we can still use those in many other systems to integrate uh, SAP Business by Design with some external type system. Now, the operations that we can use are uh, create. We can go ahead and create a create operation to generate new instances of our object. We can generate a read operation to read those instances. We can also generate an update operation uh, a query operation for any of the queries that are there uh, on any of the nodes and actions as well. So any action we have, we can put into a web service. Notice though, there's no delete operation. Uh, the delete is typically not there in SAP Business by Design. If you've used the application, you notice you're probably familiar with the fact that a lot of times we put things as obsolete or hide them away from the user. Uh, we don't usually delete items. And so that follows suit with the web services. Let's go ahead and jump in the studio and create a WSDL for our bonus plan object. So I'm logged into the studio with my development user and here's my bonus plan object. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and I'm going to say create a service integration. Now it's going to give me three options and I'm going to want to use the web service options, the second one here for me, and say next. And it's going to show me a name. It's the technical name of my solution, that weird Y name, and then manage bonus plan in. And that keeps the naming convention that's there for most of the standard web services. Usually a standard service has the convention of manage object name in and query object name in. So we can also follow suit with that. I'm going to keep that name here because I like that. Um, next, it's going to show me a screen where I can say what should be available uh, to select for all of my future operations. So what parts of my object should I even allow to be in the web service? I'm going to go ahead and select everything for now and then go ahead and say next. And I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna go ahead and say create. And here I'm gonna provide um, a couple, uh, almost all of them, except I'm gonna take out the target revenue, or the total revenue and the total bonus. Um, I'll also take out the is consistent and the SAP2 employee, which is our association. All I wanna be able to do is enter the employee ID, description, bonus plan ID, start date time, the bonus rate, and the target amount. So that'll be my create operation. Next, I'll go ahead and give a read operation and I'll just put in everything. And I'll also put in uh, my, for my association, the name of the employee, right? It's the same from the common node that we used for um, the business partner formatted name. So that way we could show the name Kate Jacobs instead of just the employee ID. So now I wanna provide that in my web service too, just to give a nice uh, little bit of functionality for anyone using it. I'll skip update for now. I could define that though. Uh, we'll go ahead and say query and say query for the root object there. And then I could provide an action well, but we'll also skip that. Next is a work center view. Uh, I can provide a work center view that I can now assign to another user for authorization to use this web service. Uh, it gives us a way to test these services very easily during development. Um, that way in testing that we can easily go in play around with the web service, uh, and it's very quick to use. If I was to use this productively, I'd probably want to go ahead and create a, a scenario based off of this, a communication scenario, and then put that into a communication system and specifically an arrangement. Uh, that way I would get a technical user generated from that that I would then give to the external system uh, to integrate with. And this technical user wouldn't have access to the front end. Um, they're a user that purely is used just for that web service uh, but the view is going to give us exactly what we need to quickly test out this web service. So I'm going to go ahead and say add, and I'm going to say create new view, and I'm going to call it web service auth add, and I'm going to go ahead and put all these operations in there. Uh, so I could provide different views with different levels of authorizations if I wanted to. For us, one is going to be enough for now, 
and we'll say finish. And this is going to go ahead and generate that web service file. Then we'll want to go ahead and activate it. Uh, and after it's active, we'll actually be able to uh, generate uh, a WSDL file directly from there. Now I'm going to go ahead first real quick before I activate this and open the UI designer. Now I'll go ahead and activate it so that we can activate while we work on our work center view. Uh, so let me activate that. Let's go into the work UI designer. And I'm going to open a couple things. I'm going to go to the Configuration Explorer. I'm going to look at Main, and I'm going to open up my Work Center for my bonus plan and this new view that I created. Uh, so let's go ahead and open the WCF file, which is my Work Center. And I'll see here's my bonus plan. Uh, work Center, there's already one view, the Bonus Plan Work View, which shows my OWL, uh, exactly what we tested already with our business user. And then I'm going to go ahead to the properties and I'm going to add a new view. I don't have any blank ones. You may have one that's called test view but that shows nothing assigned. That one's also okay to use. So, um, I'm going to go back real quick and go into edit mode. You can see I'm in display mode, so I'm not going to get very far there. Uh, let's go back now and I'm going to hit add. It's going to give me a new view. And now in this new work center view, I can assign my, uh, uh, my work center uh, view, the bonus player, the WS auth that I created. So let's go ahead and click and just drag that in. And I'm going to say yes, use the same title, it's fine. Um, and then I'll save and activate. Now I don't mind about the title that's used here because this is never going to be shown to a business user in the front end. Uh, only for when we're assigning it to some actual user would they see this work center view. Uh, if I was to log in with somebody who has the access to this view and go to this work center, it wouldn't actually show up for them. Uh, so we can see everything's active. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my administration user. Uh, and I'll assign it to this administration user, this Eddie Smoke for me. Um, that way I can use it uh, later on to test my web service. Now I could test the web service um, as it is a SOAP service with any kind of SOAP tool. Um, there are a number of them out there. Uh, rather freeware, shareware, paid versions. Uh, you could even use the WSDL file that will download in another system and build a real integration to test with. It's up to you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and assign, I'll actually go ahead and assign Eddie Smoke the whole thing, uh, including the front end view as well. And we'll go ahead and save that. And once that's saved, um, let's refresh this. And so I gave Eddie Smoke both the front end view and the um, web service authorization view, which we want. Now, if I log in, you'll notice Eddie Smoke has access to that work center bonus plan. <clears throat> and it'll be the last one as he has lots of work centers. So we can go to bonus plan, but there's no uh, multiple views, just the existing one. So you can see that the web server, the authorization one doesn't show up for us. Uh, if I go to the studio now, I can right click on my web service and say download WSDL file. And then that's going to give me a WSDL file that I can download and start testing with. Um, now, like I said, use any tool you'd like. Uh, you could play around with this and start passing in data, reading data. You could also work with some other operations or try calling the action. Um, it's up to you how you'd like to test that. So what we were able to do today is we were able to create our web service for our bonus plan object uh, using this wizard. So you can see it's really easy to use. Uh, it generates any of the operations I need in a short amount of time. Uh, we only created one of each of those operations, but I could easily add more if I wanted to. So I could have multiple actions, multiple queries, create, read, update, uh, as many as I want with different varying uh, levels of attributes that are in there. Uh, but it, it's able to now provide a WSDL file and that I can use in an external system to integrate into SAP Business by Design with my bonus plan object. Um, and then we also use the work center view authorization concept from the wizard uh, to provide an easy way for us to get authorization to test our, our web service quickly. Um, so that's it for this week and this unit. In, this, in the next unit, we will uh, go ahead and extend a standard web service. Thank you very much.